And thank you very much. New developments in school security after last week's arrest of a former Aikens High School student accused of threatening to blow up the school. He is out on bond, and some people are asking why. District Attorney Margaret Moore says she was appalled to learn that the 17-year-old Ariel Alex Ramirez Navarro was out on bond without restrictions. He's facing charges for making a terroristic threat. Now, Chris Davis is live for us from Aikens High School with the latest change that students are going to see this morning, Chris. Yeah, Sally and John, students who are coming back to school here at Aikens this morning, they are going to see more security here on campus. That's both from AISD police and from other law enforcement agencies around the area. And this comes just a day after the district says that they performed a safety and security audit here at Aikens to figure out what they can improve. And Governor Greg Abbott says that's happening all over the state. He tweeted just a little bit after midnight today that uh, a statewide safety assessment is underway and that, quote, noncompliant schools will be revealed. He also tweeted that another announcement on school safety will come this week. Meanwhile, Travis County District Attorney Margaret Moore is looking for more restrictions for Ariel Alex Ramirez Navarro, the suspect in last week's threats. Moore, is expect, Moore expects a judge to sign off on the restrictions this morning, including GPS monitoring, banning him from having weapons, and keeping him away from the school. The district says that they have issued Ramirez Navarro a, a criminal trespass warning, and basically that means he is banned from coming onto school property here. And uh, last week on Friday, 1,300 students missed school. That was just a day after uh, police say he made those threats. We'll send it back to you guys.